Good morning, Bangalore. You're listening to Radio Disabled Ray Radio Station for a fun young Bangalore. The weather is just so perfect for the couples out there, apart from the usual traffic which bothers working class. And for starters, this is your RJ Pranavi. And are you ready with your masala dosa and coffee for a new day, for a new beginning of your life? Thanks for coming in and I think uh, it's a nice association that you guys are also doing. Uh, myself, I've been a mechanical engineer, worked with HMP earlier. Then I was with, uh, I had my own company also. Then I was with Hewlett Packard for quite a long time and a lot of technologies and also traveled the world. Then I was with a Prince company called Vector. So it was basically a solution in the software. But my passion into wines was brought me into the restaurant field. So that's how I entered. I've got another enterprise called Vicky Wine which basically deals with the uh, wine tasting and uh, what do you say, uh, the pairing of wine, cheese and food. So that's a speciality center. Now, coming to Bangalore Canteen. So this is an association which we formed with our other partners called West Carrots. So it's basically a, a partnership between Wiggly Wine and uh, Mysore Bakeries, so which has the brand of Carrots. So uh, is this what you wanted to do from the early? Like, was this your passion from the beginning? No, uh, well, I basically come from a technology field from three different technologies. But definitely, I had no idea of coming into the restaurant actually. This got developed because of the fact that when I was traveling across France and Italy and some of the European countries, where I saw that small restaurants were able to showcase small wineries which were producing good wine at a very, uh, what is affordable cost. This was what struck me because basically I've been into business meetings or business dealings or the business side of uh, most of the places where I worked at, right? So one of the things which attracted me to that was I'm from North Karnataka and I had seen a lot of small wineries so who are yet to showcase a lot of their wines. One of the things about India what I noticed was that we in India are afraid to try out wines or the perception of wine being very expensive has come about here. Yes, my decision to venture into this uh, was not something which was well thought about earlier, but it was thought about in a logical manner uh, because of my association with various other countries that have been at. Now the things that uh, myself, Somnath, my other partner from Calvin's, uh, Vinayak, my one, another partner in Wigley Wines, and Darshan, who is the brother of uh, uh, Somnath, we were sitting and chatting, I think, one evening at Wigley Wines and wondering what exactly suits Koromangla and what. So during this time it emerged that yes, one of the things which, I mean it is just a nonchalant remark that you would say, but one of the things which we noticed is suddenly a lot of get-togethers, reunions, these kind of things are happening among people. And uh, due to the fact that people are also missing their families and other things, there is a new found, uh, what do you say, connections which are happening across friends. Now this is a very far-fetched idea that we are looking at actually. How come people missing their families or relatives are now searching for friends? But if you actually look at society, that's what is happening. People are reaching out to people. And nostalgias and experiences are playing a very major role at this time. When we start debating about this, then we look at also how people are looking at food. Now, food is bringing across these kind of, uh, what do you say, experiences or reminding them of these experiences. That's where we thought, well, let us, it was just a joke going around, what if we start, start a canteen? And I think that's what struck all of us that, yes, if we have a canteen, maybe we can give an experience to people. They come sit in a place where food which was served like in the canteens is being served. Definitely, we serve it like in a restaurant fashion and all those things. But still something, you can see most of the food which are here reflect what is found in your college canteens and other things. Right, so that gives them at least, uh, what do you say, uh, maybe they just come around, have a feel of it, get refreshed and go back. And we might not be able to give them the complete experience, but whatever we give them, at least gives them some time here, if they are able to take it back with them. That's what we have done. We have seen a lot of friends when we just opened up for soft launch. We saw friends coming together and saying, 
And when they looked at the artwork and other things, yeah, we used to do this, we used to do that. Now this gives something back of, uh, what do you say, um, when they go back in history and they try to find their own memories with that. So that's what we are trying to do here. So surely being an entrepreneur, you must have faced a lot of challenges. Mm -hmm. So can you just uh, list a lot of like, challenges that you faced while opening Wiggly Vines and then Bangalore Canteen? No, definitely, definitely. See, any business, definitely whatever we plan, there are problems which are bound to come up. Plenty. I mean, problems come at you from all angles. It can be uh, financial issues, it can be financial issues or it can be anything related to procurement or it can be related to uh, what getting licenses or it can be even building issues. Like Wiggly Wine, when we were first starting out, we couldn't get a simple wine license. And that was the major failure for them. Right? Because we, though we did it in Kaur Mangla, there was a building issue. Maybe we didn't do enough research. Okay, we did. With our degrees and everything, we can't, we can't, what you say, we collated a lot of uh, risks uh, and mitigations and everything. But there was a trust factor which we put in uh, getting the license, uh, which may be at a later point failed because we couldn't get it. Ultimately, we shifted out to some other place. Okay, the brand is now waking up and it's moving up. Now, similarly, even with Bangalore Canteen also, when you look at it, now there is an apprehension among people also when they come to try some place new. Now, there are early starters who come out and try new places, then there are people who would venture out only if they want, um, only if somebody else tells them. Now, aggregators are also there, right, a lot of them. Now, reviews also matter a lot. Like I said, now, challenges are not one or two. You can get it out from various places. Now, if you walk out on the road, just opposite my entrance, if you look at it, it is smelling bad. Garbage issues are there. Now, this is one of the things what we have tried consciously to do is, see, every restaurant comes up with a theme, every restaurant offers an ambience, every restaurant offers something special. But the major thing we should still remain is the connect which people have. Right? Ease with your food and ease with the people who operate the place. At the end of the day, it is still the human resource only which, which makes the difference all over again and again. Now, in weekly wines as well as here, we have made it a constant decision that owners will be there at all times. We have our managers, we have our staff, but at the same time we have made sure that one of the partners, one of the owners will always be around. Simple reason is, when you look at restaurants where owners stand, right, you talk to your guests. You build a rapport with your guests, right? That is the point when you can also relate to your guests at different levels, right? Uh, look at considering me, okay. I have maybe a one-off case would be what I would describe myself, but there are plenty of them like that who can talk on various topics. Now, all guests would not be wanting to talk only on the food that you are serving. Oh, how many times can I ask you how's your food? How's your food? How's your food? Now, when a person comes to a restaurant, you will look at the amount of time he takes to come, or come to a restaurant. Especially in today's situation when the food, whatever we serve here also can be delivered. So, when somebody comes into your restaurant, it is something special that is happening. Right? They are